Okay. All right. We're ready. <laughs> hey, YouTube. This is Mary once again. And this is my friend, the author, Mr. Harold Tolliver. Thank you. We got him back. Today, we are going to talk some more about the book he wrote, Powerful Quotes. Yes. Is that your phone? Yeah. Oh, and then, uh, then we'll still do the game. The game. The game. Uh, you don't like playing games? No, no. I, it is serious. The book is more serious than the game. Life uh, is a game. I have to know that anybody is interested in reading the book. Yeah, you know how they talk about us. You know, our kind of people, we don't like to read. But I would gladly read to people who don't like to read. That's the purpose of this. I am reading to you. Yeah, well, I can read this chapter. Oh, you want to read? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start on chapter four. Uh, what's the title of this chapter? Chapter four, Religion and the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, page 45. As it says, uh, most people who call themselves Christians give their open minds to the church in order to gain understanding. They think they think and discuss the church's uh, wonderful contribution to Christianity. Then they tune out the, tune, the true wonder, the God of their being who is there and fill them with power. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, they turn to the church to find answers, not to the God of the universe. They think the church will bring them peace, thoughts of enlightenment, but they do not turn within. Hmm. The truth is that the churches tune out God to the people. The God of our good is the same God of the universe, but we do not understand the power we can have over our own lives. The God of the universe is the one who gives us the true enlightenment, not the church. Jesus did not abrogate churches as we know them, but taught that our bodies are our true temple of God. Hmm. Many of today uh, churches are compatible to businesses uh, motivated by power over the people and over the great masses. Jesus' greatest teacher teaching was his example of rebirth and reincarnation by his resurrection. He went to show us the way to life, death, and birth, and, and rebirth. Over the century, humanity has strayed away from the true, true, true teachings to an easier path. Well, let's talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, go back to this point. You said Jesus, he came to, what does it say? Jesus, Jesus greatest oh. wait, you see that? Jesus great and greatest, greatest teaching was his example of rebirth and reinc reincarnation by his resurrection. He went to show us the way to life, death and rebirth. So mm -hmm. are you saying I mean I, I that that's the purpose that Jesus came here for? to teach us rebirth and resurrection. So what do you, what does resurrection mean to you? Because the, I know you're not thinking about like they rolled away the stone and Jesus rose from the dead. You're talking about that? That the res resurrection or what, what is resurrection? Oh, well, when, I don't know, I think it's, it's about, uh, it's something about he resurrected from the cross. Uh, he, he, he rose from the dead. Yeah. You believe he rose from the dead? I don't know how to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> that he rose to the dead, from the dead, but I wasn't there. 
So I'm going by what the Bible says, you know. So uh you know. that's just kind of you know I stumble, I stumble every time we talk about resurrection and well we gonna have to stumble on through that one time. Wait, 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 wait. My 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 thing is the, the word resurrection to me a resurrection ain't nothing but a hard on. A what? <laughs> That's that's my that's my thing on resurrection, cause uh, you got to when a man get an erection and and uh, and have a intercourse with a woman, and uh, and that's what caused a resurrection. <laughs> I am speechless. Uh, well, I, that's his version of uh, resurrection. That's the nitty gritty of, yeah, of life because so. this God made us this yeah, way to yeah. get to have a resurrection, <laughs> resurrection to go into the woman's womb a body resurrection okay yeah. I never heard it put that way but and, 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 and resurrection is early in the morning or in the nighttime when is resurrection resurrection is whenever you uh, want it and need it because uh we all came through resurrection from the woman. You mm -hmm. have to have a man. You have to have a man and a woman to resurrect a baby. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 I know you shot, but <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna I, go I'm, there. I, but I'm, 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 I didn't know, but I had to take something. That was so that's, so that's your going. version of resurrection. Okay, Mr. Tolliver has a different version of resurrection and he's entitled to his own opinion which it does make sense resurrection and you know you take the word erection erection and yes. re erect okay yeah yeah in the, in, in the virgin mary so <laughs> i'm trying to give you the whole story of how jesus became god well god <laughs> yeah according yeah. to the bible <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, we going to a whole left field on this. Okay. Let's well, let's. Well, that's the truth. That's the way it is. It's life. Resurrection. Yeah, it I, does. I, I Something say, has I, to resurrect. That's right. I didn't, this I, to happen. I didn't mean. I didn't say a bad, bad word. No, you didn't. You said resurrection. resurrection is is a word. You know. I, I didn't know. I I'm surprised, but he well, he, he tells that's the how truth. we got here. He's a man of the truth and. I yeah. learned a long time ago with him, if you don't want to know the truth, don't ask him questions. He's had this thing like, ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Now, if you don't want to hear the truth and the truth hurts you, then you have to just don't ask him because he's going to tell you the truth. Yeah, because if you can't handle the truth, he, uh, wow. you know, you, you can't take it. It's okay. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm all about, about truth. I could feel my Kundalini in my spine just coming up from my backbone, going all up to my neck. That I I got to remember that. Now, <laughs> let let me read because we we have to kind of if you uh, feel like interjecting, but we won't use that word. What was the word? Reincarnation. No resurrection. Resur resurrection. Oh my God. That's okay. Jesus <laughs> resurrected. Yeah, yeah. Jesus resurrected. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I ain't said nothing. No, wrong. you don't say nothing. No, wrong. no. Resurrection, you know, you know, when the man get a, you know, well, okay. no, well, yeah, yeah. Just okay. skip that. Okay, so yeah. Turn the page. Turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's let's see. Now we back into the actual. Uh, we're gonna go to the reading of the word. It says now. We are now today's human beings using yesterday's religions and yesterday's thinking we should be able to reach new spiritual levels but letting go of old ways of thinking that no longer serve us so he enlightened us about the word resurrection that was really an enlightenment most religions conform to man 
and many belief systems. The church is a building you go to in order to get convinced or converted. Dogma is a system of principles or belief of a church. Belief. Belief. That's that's the word. Belief. Belief. In church. In church. Yeah. So you have to be a believer to understand what they're talking about. Well, uh, my thing is, you got to be a knower. You, um, you know, you need to know God. You need to know Jesus. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, that's the thing to do. But, you know, uh, uh, the word believe, uh, yeah, that's, that's you know. Uh, you have to do believers. Yeah. Uh, well, they are believers, but I, I have to. That's that's the point. It, it's it's about knowing God. It's not about believing God because nobody never seen God. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you see, well, you know, Jesus, God uh, put Jesus here for us. So, so you saying God? Let me move this closer because it's the volume. So you saying God put Jesus here so we would believe or that we would know God? Know him? Yes. Yes. Because oh. God created Jesus. That was uh, God firstborn. Well, see, let me, you know how, I, I don't want to blow up with the rocks. And, oh, go uh, ahead. I mean, uh, you know how it's I reality. Feel about, now, I'm a believer. No, I'm not a believer. I can listen to the story about Jesus' his birth and all that, but I do not buy the immaculate conception. I can't. Why would God need to do that? Why would he take a virgin and the Holy Ghost impregnate this woman? What's the purpose of that? Mm. What is the purpose of that? I, I, I listened to a lot of videos and documentaries and I still haven't found out why. What was the purpose of God doing that? Well, back to what I said to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Resurrection. How did God create it? Oh, shoot. Okay, we back at that. I shouldn't have never. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going back to that, but I was doing my Siri Mac because you of, can't handle forgive the truth. me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. I'm trying to get some truth here. I know. See, because, yeah, uh, what is, I, you know, because I want to know God. You know, you know God. I, well, well uh, how much more do you want to know? I, I want to physically know God. Physically? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know, I just, uh Like you know me. You uh, right, right, right. Well, then, then they said um, no man has seen God, so we'll never uh, get to know God, will we? Well, uh, well, in you, you, you can feel God. Yeah, I feel, you know, and I hear you, God. You feel his creation. Yeah. And uh, he's the one that, uh, you know, that was uh, God first. Uh, uh, what, Jesus? Firstborn? Yeah, born? firstborn. Yeah, but, okay, we have to, but firstborn. That's his first son. First son. By having intercourse with Mary. Are you saying that? No, God uh, God created Jesus. So his he, first born. He it's created Jesus first him, born. But Jesus wasn't he didn't come here be, between the egg and the sperm. Right. He, right, he, right. he bypassed all this. Okay. God created created Jesus. a perfect his first man. born. Is that's in the Bible? Yeah, that's well, in I don't the know Bible. what book is it is that's in the in Bible. Colossians, the first chapter. Yeah. But okay, now okay, so if God created Jesus, we get off topic. But if God created Him, how can God expect expect us to be like Him? It's like running a race between a a, a cat and a, a a greyhound dog. The dog gonna always win because he's ahead. We behind the eight ball if we want to be like Jesus. We can't be like Jesus. Well, we can. How? 
We're uh, not even made the same way. Well, if if that's the way Jesus, if God made Jesus like that, he yeah. didn't have a sperm and an egg. So did Jesus come here and was crying and need to be breastfed and all of that like well, we Jesus did? Jesus was God's creation first. His creation. That's where I stumbled. To, to I the stumbled. people. I know. I yeah. stumbled. So it was, it was, it was God, uh, you know, brought Jesus in to earth and, uh, his firstborn and, uh, and, and gave, gave us Jesus and, and had Jesus to create from, from then on. So... So Jesus created. What did he create? He didn't have any children or nothing. Or did he? What did Jesus create? He, he created more people. Well, no. No, he didn't have no, no children. No, God. God. Yeah. You're talking about back in the okay, well, Genesis? You know, well, God created Adam and Eve. Yeah, he made them. And, uh, but I think it read in the Bible that, uh, but that Jesus was God's first creation. Now see, that's, that's, Before Adam and I Eve. know, but do you see how the Bible I know can that, just uh, turn itself I, inside out and then say this is this when it's not? You right. will be lost. But I haven't heard no preacher preach on that. Because it's confusing. I know it, but it is in the Bible. It's there. Yeah, it's there, but nobody looking at it. They don't want to so, bring that up because uh, they don't know uh, how to explain I, it. I uh-huh. know it. So, so we can't. Uh, that was just, it was man written that Bible. So this chapter is religion and the word of God. So yes. the word of God, what is the word of God? What is the word of God? Uh, it's, uh, the word of God. You know, I don't know. What's Is the it word? the Bible? That ain't the word of God. That's that's a religion. No. You know, man written the Bible. Man written the Bible. God, God so didn't write the Bible. God didn't write the Bible and man made religion and yeah, he made well, the Bible. Just like Moses. Uh, 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 when 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 God talked to Moses and and God said to Moses Moses, take off your oh, shoes. The shoes yeah. You own uh, holy, ground. holy ground. Yeah. You know? So, so it, 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 that's in that in the beginning and all of that. Moses talking to God, and uh, God is talking to Moses. And I, I I know more. This is when you open up the book. You know, in the beginning. Right. What's the word? If Moses is talking to God, who's writing this down? Who wrote that? What God told him about the shoes and stuff. That's what I'm saying. I want to know who wrote all this stuff. Yeah. Well, I, 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 me, but you see how confused Nobody I didn't see God, but, but uh, even Moses didn't see God, but he heard God. Uh-huh. And you see, okay, I want y'all to understand, these uh, Harold. Mm-hmm. found all of these quotes and it's not like all of these quotes are just better than the word of god these quotes are here to have you just as confused like well who, who is this yeah and it it unless it, it you you this makes you think more but in the end do we need to think we, oh we most definitely had we need we need to think but think how well, we got to think. Uh, we got to start knowing what we think. Knowing what we thinking. Yes. So should we just put the Bible down and be quiet and listen within ourselves? Um. Uh, and you know, huh? we 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 just have to uh, the take the word of God. What is the word of God? The Bible. How do we find the word of God? Well, uh, well, we found the word of God from his creation. You know, God created everything. 
And so, uh, we just have to go by that. So somebody's looking on, on a haunt, searching for wisdom and searching for God. I would say they have to go on the inside. And I, I mean, to tell a person to go on the inside is, well, how do I go on the inside? I'm telling you to listen to your conscious mind. The same mind that tells you, uh, be careful, don't go in that building and but, but uh, yeah, religion is based on pure faith and not knowledge. Now, I, 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 I don't, I don't, but, but I'm not understanding this. Religion is based on pure faith and not knowledge. Uh, I don't understand that. They, religion wants you to have faith. In other words, believe. You got to believe that, and, 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 and you have to uh, you have I, to believe that Christ died for you, and you say the sinner's prayer, and you will stop sinning, and God will take you to heaven. Or however, how do they say that? Well, uh, I'm not understanding all of that because uh, I don't want her to. Uh, it's why it says religion is based on pure faith. And not knowledge. Uh, that that sounds kind of dumb. We we need knowledge. You know, we don't need faith. We need knowledge of God. Well, it's it's, it's what it's doing. It's saying tell you what religion is based on. Religion wants you to have faith, pure faith, and religion does not want you to find knowledge. The church don't want you to search for knowledge. I don't understand that. They don't. They the church doesn't want you to seek knowledge, because they say all you need to know is thus said the Lord. What this Bible is telling you, that's all you need to know. But knowledge, when you say, well, I want to know what this means and that, and and you go on a search. I mean, how we used to go to these different places and just searching for knowledge. And what's knowledge is wanting to know what's true and what's not. You searching searching for truth. And religion doesn't want you to look for the truth. They don't. Whoa. Religion. That, 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 that's that strange to me. They don't want you to look for the truth. Uh, that, that's, that's not of God. It's not. They, they don't want you to look for knowledge. Yeah. And it's always been like that. Even the Torah and the, the Hebrew, the Judea base, uh, they don't want you to look. But you're supposed to stop right here and just obey. Obey what does say the Lord, and that's it. Well, my, my take on that, we need to know God before yeah. we, you know, God, God, God created us, create us. Mm -hmm. And he created us, he created us to know him. It's yeah. better to know God, you know, uh, and uh, once you get to know God, then you will have more knowledge of God. But oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of like you pick up, you meet a new friend, yeah, and See, you need to know them, right, so you can understand. But them. this religion is based on pure faith. faith, but they ain't doing not, you know, they, they, you know, they religion is based on pure faith and not no. knowledge that. The, that 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 making you dumb. Yeah, you don't need no knowledge because you got faith. Yeah, that's it. You know, but uh, that's that's not a good saying. Uh, it should say that we all should get to know God. God wants to be known. Wants to be known. Yes, he wants to be known. So that's we have to do this ourselves. You say you. Uh, there is a God, hmm. you know, you know, so, uh, because God created everything, you know. Okay, let me see something right here. It says, right here, it says, as much as we love our Bibles, it is shocking how much has been censored and deleted. You know, the whole book of Enoch was taken out of the Bible. 
Well, see, God didn't write the Bible. No, he did. He did. You know, cause God, uh, the, what's God? God, God ain't do no writing. None of it. It's just man done all of this. Well, then the Bible said God wrote it with his fingertips. He got gold fingertips, and that God wrote that. That's what the Bible say. He wrote it with his fingertips. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It does say that. Well, see, this is the fingertip. See, all this ain't reality. Cause uh, right. the Bible, know, I tell you, just just all we need to know that there is a God, and that but God the, is us. We are it. God. Yes, we are God. We are God. That's enough, isn't it? Yes. So, this here was is it? Martin Luther broke away from the Catholic Church and established. A Protestant church. Many of the books in the Bible were censored, and several books of the Bible was removed. Removed, yeah, they see? did. They changed it, and they took uh, what's the name, King James? Yeah, oh, King James. You know, that he's a joke. No, he's a joke. Uh, yeah. Let no. us also remember that Jesus did not use the symbol of the cross. The inner that entered the oh Catholic, Catholic Church. church. 400 years, years after his crucifixion. Yeah, he didn't, yeah, because, I don't know, the cru the crosses, the Romans are the one that did that. They uh, crucified all of their prisoners yeah. like that. The entire Bible is complete stories. Mm -hmm. The man wrote these people. stories. Yeah, bring forth a condition pointing right to this time with the Christ coming forth. Meaning that every one of us present presents. Uh, what that is it presents, presents the, the Christ. Christ. Thus, you can say that the Bible is the Word of God in the sense, and not in the literal sense, sense of, of the word. word. See, oh. we have to seek God for ourselves. We don't need no preacher. No, you don't. You don't need no. a preacher. We just have to know God. You know, how do you, how religion do you, have you to believe God, uh, but they don't tell you to know God. How to know God on your own? So, how would you? Uh, what advice would you give a person? How how would how can a person know God? God gave us all a mind to think, to think, and to know. I think it, I think it has a lot to do with with remembering too, because. We forget the miracles. I mean, if a fellow would just sit back and uh, remember things that just happened in their life, the close calls and how you were saved from different uh, disasters, that's a way to remember God. And it's not, you don't have to go to the Bible for that, but you have to remember. remember like you said, remember not to forget. Yes, but... Uh... We we don't have to remember. We just need to know. To know, but once you know, don't forget. Yes, that's the key. Cause you you know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. And then next week, you don't forget what you know, what you knew. You forgot. Well, you have got to refresh your mind daily and walk in His truth. Yeah, well, you got to know yourself just as yeah, well. Yeah, you do. You have to so know yourself. So, you think that you can't say, say I believe me. <laughs> I believe me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you got to skip me. it. You got to skip oh, this belief God. thing. Because mm -hmm. God created us. And yeah. you got to know that God created us. So, you can't go around saying, I believe God created me. No, God. He put us here to know, you know, just like it's in the Bible, be still and, and know, know that I'm God. This is, this thing says, Christianity is an evil force it's in the world. It's a religion. It's a religion. is an evil force in the world. So Christianity is a religion. Yeah. Religious doctrines have the, all too often emphasized theory instead of practice. Repetition of such an attitude limits our understanding of truth to the physical things and we lose spiritual significance uh, mary did jesus come here to 
to to to start religion? No. Okay. No, okay. Okay. No, he didn't come here to start no because religion. yeah. So re religion kicked in, and then they start worshiping Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's what and Jesus didn't it. come here to try to be worshipped. No, only the Father. You only you know worship God, God, but. Uh, mm. religion uh, start uh, praying to to Jesus. To Jesus, yeah, yeah. That's what they want you to do. Pray yeah. to Jesus. Yeah. Because Jesus is the word of God. Mm. You know, God sent him here. This is, uh, okay, it says, we're talking about the church now. Being baptized by water and fire is a religious symbol of purification, mm -hmm. but all of that baptizing, all that is still something they do in the church, just like counting the rosary beads. All of this is just symbolic of church. It don't have nothing to do with God. That's right. So you don't have to get baptized. You don't have to do none of this stuff. We just had. I think. I think is to to get to know God. We ain't got to go through church. No. Just go to God on your own to know God. Hmm. You know? So don't let the church just, the, you know, uh, you know that and 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 man, man uh, had come to this religion thing. Oh, man yeah. did that. Yeah, man did that. Okay, but this is this here is back in the the thing I was talking about back at conception. It says. Immaculate conception means only to be born in the purity of spirit without common debt, for which the church substitutes the term original sin. The immaculate conception was not physical, but spiritual. See, now the church wants to make it physical because the immaculate conception is when the Holy Ghost overshadowed and impregnated Mary. But that's what that's what a lot of people stumble. I stumble on that, and I'm not gonna stumble on it because I, I, like I say, I, I can't do that. I can't. That's that's not true. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, it's a lot. It's a lot to uh, religion, man. Yeah, it's, religion it, it, it's, is doing it's a not, number. Yeah, they doing a number on us, you mm -hmm. know, because man write the Bible. Yeah. Okay. And uh, but 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 God created Jesus. That was just God first born. Right, right. So uh, it, we got the offshoot of of religion, uh, and and religion made Jesus God. Oh yeah, they did. They yeah, made Jesus and, God. Uh huh. So uh, you know it. The Bible, the way it's written, it, it, it's not giving us uh, all of the knowing of God. Yeah, that's true. You know, because uh, God had already sent, created Jesus, his mm -hmm. firstborn. And uh, G, uh, God didn't uh, give Jesus a book and say, well, hey, uh, this is my father's book. You know. So are we all God's firstborn? Are, Am no, I no. God? I'm not God's firstborn. We, How come I can't be? Well, well, only, <laughs> well we know that uh, Jesus is God firstborn. I told everybody out it's shoot, I'm God's firstborn too. You are too. Because God created people way before Jesus got here. So uh, can't all of us be God? Yes. Okay, you know I ain't gonna let you get away with that. One. Yes, <laughs> God is in all of us. <laughs> yeah, like, like like uh, G, uh, God is in Jesus. Jesus so we God. we we are we are all the same as as Jesus. Yeah, we are equal. But he, but Jesus was his is God firstborn. I'm God's so, firstborn too. Yeah, well, you are too. Yeah, well, we we we. We we, we on that note. Christ. We are Christ. That we that are Christ. okay. That's goes to show you that there is a God. Yeah. We so are. so we that's we know God. We know God by looking at ourselves. Yeah, you're right. I see God. 
Yeah. You see God in me. I can see it. Yeah. 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 Like, that, the, like the, 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 the rap group, Mary Mary. Oh, yeah, the yeah. God I can see the God in me. God yeah, I remember that. We it's all can say that. Yeah. We can all can say that. Yeah. God is in all of, in us. all of us. He's in Jesus. He's in us. And in, in all the creation. Yes. That's we really all yeah. one. <laughs> just like Jesus said, I and my father is one. All my father one. Let yourself on. Oh, my cell phone is in my truck. Like, yeah, I hear it too. You know. But anyway, we, we've been on 35 minutes, and Mr. Harold gave his version of <laughs> resurrection. I can go on and on I on love this, resurrection. So, but, but I don't want to okay. take up people's time. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll be back. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'm still learning to know God. Yeah, we never I done, I'm through. doing this on my own. Yeah, you have to so, do it on your own. Yes, because uh, I know that there is a God, and I know that God is in me. And so I I feel like that I'm one with God also, just the way that Jesus said that I and my Father is one. So if, J D if, is, is Jesus one with God, I'm one with God. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Am I God? Am I God? Yes. <laughs> be practical. Be practical. <laughs> so let's be practical. I'm practically am God. Hey. Okay. That's, that's right on. <laughs> okay, we go, guys. Practically. Practically. All your uh, life, you've been practically, practically God. God. Yes. Bye. <laughs>